Hello and welcome to our awesome assemblies all about fruit. Who's that? What's he doing? We're going to think about and enjoy many different types of fruit. And we're also going to think about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. With me, Mr. Etherton and Mr. Badger. He's on a unicycle, going into school. Mr. Badger! He's got a coconut. Mr. Badger, I'm not sure that a coconut is a fruit. Well children, why don't you find out, is a coconut a fruit or not? We'll find out in a future awesome assembly. Now a great way to zoom around your school is on a unicycle. It's really quick. It's fantastic. You just can't have many children around until they get squashed. So today we're going to think about an apple. We'll think about Mr Badger's coconut another week. Today we're going to think about self-control. Look at this man. He's putting down a plate of delicious chicken, but they have to wait until he comes back before Eddie, even come one on. bite can be taken. No. No. Will they show self-control? Yeah. The owner does his best to explain the yeah. rules. And now all that's left is... Now we have a bigger. Seeing no. how much no. self-control no. these dogs have. No. Each dog tries a different tactic, with one doing their best to not even look at the chicken, while the husky chases after the owner to get permission right out of the gates. Both dogs are struggling to control their hunger. But there's only so long both dogs can ignore the food for, and pretty quickly the husky starts fully salivating. Could you show this much self-control? The temptation continues to build as the husky paces the room, impatient for his owner to return. Look at that chicken. <laughs> I can't go up the stairs, I've got a plan B. So it's really important that we wash our hands and dry them. So today we're going to think about an apple and uh, you can just eat it. Mm. Very nice actually apple and you can juggle them. Mm. 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 
green one and a small red one and we've got two cooking apples and Mr Badger that's not an apple it's a coconut it's not a fruit okay you can hold it that's okay what we can do and you should only use a sharp knife if your mum or dad or whoever looks after you. you but you can cut them into quarters like this that's four pieces like that and you can cut out the middle so you've got a nice boat mm. really nice another way you can cut an apple is with an apple cutter so you can press it like this down like that and I'll pop out all the pieces and you're just left with the apple core Okay, really delicious apple. Now this apple is a cooking apple, it's much much larger. So we need to peel it carefully with a knife. This knife is quite good, it's curved, which makes it slightly easier to peel. You may prefer using a peeler like this. Let's see how long I can make my apple peel. Normally it's really good to eat the skin, but when we're cooking with cooking apples, we want to get the skin off. And then I'm going to cut it in half. Chop out the middle bit and then I'm going to chop up these pieces into a pan and boil them. Just a little bit of water. Put it on the hob and we're going to heat it up to cook the cooking apples. So I'm just going to stir in the apple rubbing nicely and it's turning into like an apple sauce which is great so we'll just give that a few minutes now we're going to make a strudel so the first thing I'm going to do is to get a bit of flour and just do that on the surface and I have got some roll out puff pastry you can get it frozen or you can get it fresh so here we are let's get out and I'm going to use just half of it. Right, here we go. Let's roll out my puff pastry. And in the middle, I'm going to put some marzipan. I love marzipan, it's really nice. And I'm going to put my marzipan in the middle of my strudel and then I'm going to wrap it up like this. I think I might just make this a little bit bigger. <laughs> okay, now let's see if my apple is cooked. Oh, mm, don't tell anybody, mm, it's really nice. So over the summer, I went blackberry picking and I collected some blackberries and I put them in the freezer. They've now defrosted and I'm gonna add them to my stewed apple. So Badger's gonna help put some blackberries into my stewed apple. Come on, Badger, let's just give this a stir, shall we? Look at that. Blackberry and apple to go into my strudel. Look at that. Delicious. I'm going to get my blackberry and apple and put it in the middle of my strudel, just like this. 
going to be delicious. And then slice the sides like this. I'm then going to try and kind of plait it together. Now you can tell it's the first one I've made because there's lots of gaps in there. But we're going to put it in the oven and cook it. Now, Adam and Eve had a bit of an issue with an apple. And God said, don't eat the apple from that tree. But they didn't show temptation and they ate the apple. And in the Bible, it says, a person without self-control is a, like a house with its doors and windows knocked out. And that's from Proverbs 25. And I think this puff pastry strudel that I've made is not going to control the apple and blackberries inside, is it? And we need to ask God to help us to show self-control, to control our emotions, to control what we do, what we think. And that can be our thought for today. But let's put this apple strudel in the oven and see what happens. Come on, Mr. Badger. Badger, let's check our strudel, how it's getting on. Wow, look at that. It's doing really well. Now, when you're learning to ride a bicycle, you've got to definitely think about all the forces, not magnets, but all the forces involved, because you have to balance. A unicycle has one wheel, and uni means one. A bicycle has two wheels, and bi means two. Like a biplane has two wings. And a tricycle has three wheels. And a tricycle and tri means three, like tripod has three legs and triangle has three corners. But with a unicycle, it's really hard to show control when you are on it because you haven't got two wheels, you haven't got some handlebars to hold on to. All you've got is the seat, which you sit on, and you've got two pedals one for your left foot and one for your right foot and of course what's challenging is that you've got to have equal pressure on both the pedals when you're on a bicycle you only push pressure on the foot that's pushing down you have to put pressure on both pedals so you've got to practice and practice and practice and practice so that you can learn to ride a unicycle and it's the same thing with self-control. I'm in a random class from here, and you can see it's all set up ready for the children tomorrow. But we have to practice self-control, don't we? Not to wander around, not to throw things, not to fiddle with things, maybe. We have to show self-control. But like being on a unicycle, we have to practice we have to practice good listening. We have to practice how we pay attention. We have to really practice how we focus. And we need to sometimes practice about putting up our hand or not calling out. All of these things about self-control, we have to practice. And we can ask God to help us with our self-control. And it's not just how we do things in the classroom, is it? It's also about how we use our hands, we have to practice self-control, not hurting people, but having kind hands. We have to practice with what we say, thinking about, am I going to offend somebody or upset them? We have to show self-control. We even have to show self-control in doing good things, being kind and being active with other people. 
But I quite like this question here, this big question. What is it like to follow God? Well, a good starting point is to ask the Holy Spirit to help us with the fruit of the Spirit. What a great question that is. Right, Mr. Badger, let's get the strudel out. Oh, look at that. I actually made two. They've exploded a bit. Uh, I think I need a bit more practice, but doesn't that look delicious? Let's take it and eat some. Well, my strudel is finished, and next time I cook it, I'm going to try and roll out the pastry so it kind of stays enclosed. But um, so I'm going to get a knife, and I'm going to chop up some slices like that. And now I'm going to try and get some out. Oh, look at that slice there. But look, you can see the marzipan has melted at the bottom and has gone all gooey. The apple, the stewed apple, is gone delicious. It's gone red because the blackberries have dyed it. And you've got a lovely puff pastry to go around it. Could be really hot. Let's see if it tastes as nice as it looks. Mmm, that is good. Mm. I'm going to have to use a lot of self-control not to eat all of this. I think I might take some home and share it with my family. Mm. I love the marzipan and the blackberries. Mm. Badgers like to eat blackberries as well, don't you Badger? Yeah. Big question. In the book of Peter it says, For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness knowledge, and to knowledge self-control, and to self-control perseverance, and to perseverance godliness, and to godliness mutual affection, and to mutual affection love. How can we show love to God and to our friends? The little question. Adam and Eve gave in to temptation and did not show self-control. If we find self-control difficult, what can we do about it? Coming soon, we make a fruit salad and we think about Mr. Badger's coconuts. <laughs>